Morning Lex, it's Monday. Um, I'm literally recording this on YouTube because it is taking me all weekend to figure out what I'm going to talk about. And I'm out of time. <laughs> um, because I, it's my finals week. Um, it's not the campus's finals week, but it's my finals week because of grad student. Um, but uh, not, I l literally am out of time. So um, I'm going to share a couple of things with you. I'm going to call this local fanfare. Um, because I, there are two local things I want to share with you. One is local to where I am now, and the other one is local to where I'm from, uh, Portland, and um, I think you'll like them both. So the one that's local to where I am now um, is an author. His name is Ron Rash, um, and he is a professor at Western, which is the university that I attend, and he also writes bestsellers. Um, his most prominent bestseller, I guess, is called Serena. They're making it into a film with Jennifer Lawrence and uh, Bradley Cooper. And it's about a woman um, in, like, the 1930s in Appalachia. Um, I think she's a bank robber. That's probably wrong. I haven't read the book yet. It's on my shelf. I'm reading it this summer. Um, the one of his that I have read is called The Cove, and it's about this young woman who lives um, in a cove in Mars Hill, North Carolina, which is about an hour from here. Um, she lives there with her brother, and she is considered a witch by the surrounding area. It's set, I think, right after World War One but I could be wrong. Um, it could be right after World War II. <laughs> uh, anyway, they, um, or the Civil War, I honestly don't know. Anyway, the surrounding area kind of sees her as this witch, and so she and her brother are kind of alienated, and then she meets this man who is mute but plays a flute. And that's how she, like, runs into him is he's playing this flute, and they... Um, fall in love and it's about like their story and it's so good it's ridiculously well written um, and it's I just it's amazing I think you'd really love it and the really cool thing is that I get to take his creative writing class in the fall um, so I'm super party stoked about it and um, I think you should definitely check him out I know you have a huge list of books but you'll really like Ron Rash the second thing that I want to share that's local to Portland um, is a band. They're called The Harm, and I initially kind of knew who they were because um, one of, because their lead singer was a student that I worked with. He was a resident assistant in the residence hall that was attached to mine, um, and his name is Jeff, and he, um, he's really great and they the band practiced in our basement and so I knew he was in a band and then we had this big event um, in our quad called quad stock and they played at it and I took some pictures because that's how I do and um, I ended up taking a picture that they wanted to use for their EP and which they released in last May um, and so uh, so I was like, yeah, totally, you can use my picture for your EP, whatever. Um, and so then I went to their launch party, and uh, they're really good. Like, they're kind of an indie rock sort of thing. Um, but they have been, like, slowly building, and they were mostly just playing, like, house parties and events on the University of Portland campus. But recently, um, the there are several magazines in Portland that have taken notice of them. There are several... Um, venues in Portland that have uh, paid att more attention to them and last week I think University of Portland has um, a, rock, a Rock the Bluff event uh, every year um, and they call it Rock the Bluff because they're on a bluff that's not really relevant but anyway um, they had boys like girls come and the harm got to open which was really great for them um, because even though the University of Portland community kind of already knows who they are, this got them out there even more, um, 
and they made their first like live music video and they're making a documentary and it's going to be really great <laughs> um, and I'd play their music for you but I'd have to open my iTunes and I like I said I ain't got time so <laughs> um, you should definitely check them out I'll link to the music video and their website below you'll really like their music it's really amazing um, so make sure you check them out that's all I have for you um, sorry this is so like crazy fast slash ratchet because there's probably not going to be any logos on here but this week's cray so I hope you have a good week good luck on all of your finals um, PS thanks for sharing the Michael Buble stuff with me I I mean I knew you loved him but um, uh, I had not heard the new album yet and it's beautiful so um, thanks for sharing that. I hope you have a good finals week. Good luck. And I will see you on Friday. <laughs> Bye.